So IRR performance. So what's really interesting about the IRR, so many people are attracted to this. This is what really drives the corporate model as well. And if anyone wants to see that again, just let me know, I can scroll back up. But when you look at the internal rate of return, um, the total death benefit and MEC limit will have an impact, like if I overinflate that a little bit, but really what's going to drive that internal rate of return on a guaranteed and non-guaranteed basis, and I'm speaking to actual performance, not just illustrated, really comes down to the policy design and whatever multiplier an insurance company offers via the premium and PUA rider, it's pretty simple. The more money we get toward the PUA rider, the more money you stuff into cash value, the greater that internal rate of return will be, especially when you look at actual performance, not just projections. So the MEC limit has an impact because it's gonna measure your total death benefit and have a cost, but really the key driver is this guy right here, which is the actual policy design. There we go. I see. Does that make sense? Questions on that? You yeah, know, that's that's clear. Um, mm -hmm. Please keep yeah, continue with that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then that's where you just where the questions typically typically come up, like what are the limits? Because all all companies have different limitations, right? If you take and we spitball a couple companies and their limits, S Mutual, the maximum limit or what their language states or what they they won't reject. I should put it this way. <laughs> is in respect to the total payment, whatever your base premium is, that times 10, 10X, Uncle G. Yep. Yep, so what that would mean is, for example, and this is specific to Mass Mutual here in this example, if I had a $10,000 base premium, their limits would allow a maximum of another 90,000 in PUAs. Granted, there's a term rider in there as well, but it's whatever the base is that is specific to Mass Mutual, what they look at, it's a clean 1090 split. Where the MAC limit is also like just over 100K. Correct. You could actually set the, the MEC limit higher if you wanted to. Some people like to overinflate it a bit if they want to pay in for a long period of time. Um, right. But yeah, in an ideal world, if you said, juice the IRR, I want to max fund this policy as much as I can, shrink the, the MEC limit down to 100K, I'm going to fund it for 10 years or less, that, that's how you would do it. Yeah. Now, in this, in this case, under the new MEC laws and the 7702 updates, with if, if someone, let's say we got that 40-year-old male that only has 100 grand, but now they come across this information, they're like, well, I'm 40, I plan on 10xing my income. I'm, I'm, I'm part of the Grant Cardone 10x community. I'm, I'm building a business. I want to start with 100, but I would like the ability to go as high as up to 180,000. Mm -hmm. So at that point, would it make sense to have a higher base premium to support that? So they would initially take a, a, a hit because it's not quite a uh, 1090 split so you're not quite maximizing the cash but they're maximizing their long-term capability of, of putting money in for a long period of time so mm -hmm. therefore if they're saying you know what i plan on funding this policy for 50 years you know all the way up yep. until i'm 90 years old i want to fund it for as long as humanly possible and i want to get in as much as humanly possible or have the ability to get in as much as humanly possible on yeah. the MAC laws, this would favor them. Um, it, it would, and you can actually do the exact same thing too. Really good question. Where if you said, "Hey, I want to be able to pay in 180 per year," the Mass Mutual's premium and PUA limits are identical. So if I have a higher MEC limit and can go up to 180, and someone said, "Hey, like I want maximum IRR," what we would do is set that base premium at 18,000. Then they can pay up to a total of 180 per year. You don't have to. We could overinflate the MEC limit a little bit if they wanted to as well, but it would all be relative just from a policy design standpoint. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really yeah. good.